This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Earth. Seriously. Part 43. No one knows what's gonna happen. Man. But spaceweather.com admits nobody knows what's gonna happen. That's kind of exciting. Ison's got really bright. Really fast. It's caused the light curve to hockey stick a little. I'm searching for a puck joke, but I can't find one, so I'll just put up pictures of pucks instead. It's me, I'm back. Indiana Jones of pseudo-astronomy. I uh, hope you like it fast and sloppy, cause this one is coming in high and tight. Yeah, that looks just like a dirty snowball, man. Totally, absolutely. When I look at that thing, that's the first and only thing that jumps into my mind. Holy crap. That is a snowball that is dirty. Will somebody clean that snowball? We are in the magic minutes of this series. We are in the magic minutes of this epic tale. Ison and Enki are gonna whiz by Mercury. Dusted a bit. I don't know, is there Mercury on dust? I mean, is there dust on Mercury? I'm trying to get my cadence down to where I speak in between the dogs barking. Yeah. Wait, three of y'all can't be barking, that's too tough. It's Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. We got 12 days to perihelion. So two comets are two minutes from midnight by Mercury. All right, we got three options given us by NASA. One, the comet can die. Two, the comet can live and then die. Three, the comet can live. Maybe it's like Harry Potter. And it's the comet who lived. Now this photo, this photograph is pretty amazing. Because it doesn't show Ison in one of them super fandangled, fandango telescope technology. Yeah, power. Close up. It shows Ison in the sky like a normal sky. Like you're just looking up and hey, there's Ison. And I took a photo of it. Maybe this thing's gonna be real special. Just like me and you, baby. Some of these photographs from the brightening, outbursting, are out of sight, man. They're out of sight. Ison is really turning out to be a truly magical spectacle. I guess as Matthew Knight put it, number one is spontaneous disintegration before Thanksgiving. A small fraction, less than 1% of comets have disintegrated for no apparent reason. Recent examples, Comet Linear C-1999 S4 in 2000 and Comet Elenin in 2011. Hey wait, I seem to remember the sun at Elenin and blowing it to pieces. Number two, death by sunburn around Thanksgiving Day. Ison's gonna get a double whammy. She's been naughty. You're pulling me apart! Number three, survival and revival and awesomeness? We have no idea. NASA's Comet Ison Observing Campaign states we have no idea. The comet's nucleus is hidden from view by a hazy green atmosphere. So events in the interior remain a mystery. Green haze all in my brain. Lately things don't seem the same. Comet ice and acting funny. And I don't know why. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. Excuse me while I kiss this Pretty girl. Whatever. Using binoculars, Ashen should be ready. Readily visible as a fuzzy star with a short tail. When asked why we study comets, one of our favorite analogies to use is that comets are like the dinosaur bones of the solar system. See, there you go. Science finally admitted it's a dragon skull. It's a giant dinosaur bone hurling towards the sun. Some space giant threw it. My dogs won't shut up! Man, I wonder what its composition is. Look at that thing, hockey sticking. Boing. Swing. Boing. Two days ago, we reported that something different appeared to be happening with Comet Ison. A truly beautiful comet. In 72 hours, Comet Ison increased nearly 16 times in brightness. My own observations from this morning in binoculars show a nice lollipop comet with a very condensed blue-green head and a long narrow tail. Lollipop head. 
and tail. Oh man, that would cause me to have an unmistakable outburst. Lollipop head with long narrow tail. Get back on target. The coma was compact. The tail was very thin. It wasn't huge. That's what she said. But not to me, dude. Not about me. Ison has demonstrated short spurts. I was ready to go at 4.45 a.m. But I could not figure out what the funny looking blotted star that came into view was. Portal said, was my seeing that bad? But no, the blotted out star was in fact at the comet's position. I trained to do Bortle's voice correctly for like four years. I hope it, I hope I do good. Holy crap. Look at the fireball chart. It's fireballing everywhere. Like seriously, those are all the fireballs near Earth? That's a lot. The comet's fate is uncertain. Its sudden outburst may mean its days are numbered or that it'll become even brighter in the coming days. Well, duh. Get ready for a stellar show. Are you guys ready for a stellar show? Me too. Hey, trolls. Comet Ison lightened up. Why can't you? Why don't you get a little brighter, trolls? A little sunspot surprise. This is a really cool photograph. Taking it on and around, big Jing. Biaging. Biaging. Chin up. Sunspots galore. Okay, so we got peach, lollipop, head, spurts, tail, and monitoring is encouraged. Man, these photographs are pretty amazing. Is it just me or does... Uh, here's a photo from the sun from the other day. Man, that looks like a big old superhero getting ready to throw a right punch. Here I come to save the day. And it is just as made of a phoenix. No, seriously. Baby, what are you wearing? We're going to learn a lot no matter what. Yep. Hey, you know what? Chicken butt. You know why? Chicken thigh. You know when? Hey, since uh, the people at the CNIOC use my final countdown title for icing, can I get one of them fancy Comet Ison Observer campaign certificates? That'd be grand. You know what's crazy is, uh... All right, I concede. You put contact lenses on the eyeball. So my objection to naked eye is overruled. Naked eye can stand. We're going to learn a lot no matter what. Yep. If you want to see icing with your own eyes, do it now. We cannot and do not guarantee that it will survive the next few weeks and become naked eye visible in our night skies. Well, dude, that dude took a picture of it. it you can see it now. It is a naked eye object. Naked eye object. Naked eye object. Yep.